manufacture and sell cosmetics, my own. I am a creative and I am a makeup artist. I like to go to the gym. Mm. I like to read. It's something I'm very passionate about. So if there's something that can make you feel good about yourself, 100%. why not invest into that? Men are incapable of being involved in the cosmetics business. Men have it easier. They wash their face with the same cloth that they wash their body with in their free skin. No, I have such great supporters. The business is called Everybody, what is your what's popping? How are you doing? Lebohan Jessica Gilevemang here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome home. Get cozy, get comfortable because you are guaranteed to stay. Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to another video. And as you can see, I am with my third guest for this segment. Um, yeah, for those of you that don't know, I am doing a segment for this women's month, March that's centered around International Women's Day, which was on the 8th of March. And the segment is basically titled after the theme for International Women's Day, which is Invest in Women, Accelerate Progress. So in an attempt to invest in women, I have invited a few guests, female entrepreneurs, to come be guests so that you and I can know more about them and their businesses and how we can invest in them, right? Perfect. So, I'm with a guest here today. She will introduce herself in one of the questions. But first and foremost, let's start with your business. So, give us a short summary about your business and what exactly it is that you do. Okay. Um, hi, guys. I can't as well just introduce my name either way. Okay. okay. It's in the no, next one. It's in this. the next one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, hi, guys. So, my business uh, basically... I manufacture cosmetics. I manufacture and sell cosmetics, my own. And uh, currently just focuses on makeup, but eventually it's going to evolve into like your skincare and wow. your uh, body care, like just cosmetics as a whole, entailing on what it is, not just focusing on makeup. As a little yeah, it's. I think it's actually crazy that my first two guests are also somewhat focusing on cosmetics as well. It wasn't intentional, guys. <laughs> It it's a lucrative business. It actually yeah. makes money. Like that's I really like to look good. And not to say it's just gonna focus on women alone, but we yeah. like to take care of ourselves and you know that's what's included in taking care of yourself. You wanna look good and looking good makes you feel good. I love that. And it's all about the <laughs> right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what the, the, the last two said as well. Mm. Okay, so cosmetics that's starting off in makeup but venturing into skincare and body care. Yeah. All right. Love that. Love that. Okay, so okay, now we are getting into you, right? So business aside, let's forget about your business. Mm -hmm. Now I want you to tell us um who are you? Okay. And yeah, what do you do? Are you a student? Mm, are you working? Okay. Yeah. Just just that. Alright, um hi guys. Now I can officially introduce myself. Hi guys, my name is Lolo Princess Mokoti. Um, I am turning five years old. I'm turning twenty six. Years old. <laughs> I am turning twenty six. I'm twenty five years old. Um, I graduated from the University of Botswana in in media French. So, <laughs> um, I graduated in twenty twenty two. But um, aside from that, I am a creative and I am a makeup artist. And I am not working currently, though I am focusing on my business, you know, job hunting and everything. But I specialize in doing digital marketing. Guys. Okay, so anything that has to do with the internet, virtual marketing, all of that, I that's I work in it. That's me. So in some sense, we're almost the same, basically. except for the part where I'm not a makeup artist. <laughs> okay, but you but do your makeup, so I don't understand. I, I mean. Hidden talents. It's it's easy okay. to do it on yourself, but on to somebody okay, else. Say that's so true. Doing somebody it takes else's a lot of makeup practice. is like it really okay. does take a lot of practice. So yeah. Okay, so moving on. Mm -hmm. Um, what do you like to do for fun? Like for a fun. business owner like you who's into cosmetics. What's your fun? Um, what hobbies do you have or what hobbies do you enjoy? Okay. 
um, related to the business or something like completely different? It can be both actually, yes. it's like a mixture of both. Uh, for one, I like to go to the gym. I don't think I'll do it as a hobby now because it's like part of my lifestyle. I like to go to the gym. Mm. I like to read. I like novels. Anyways, but like not well, everyone. Not, a weird not everyone would think that when they look at me, they're like. <laughs> but um i also like to go out with my friends i like good company i don't think the club scene is not my scene anymore but but you do like to spend i love time to spend time with friends be it like going for lunches or going for like house sessions and stuff like that but besides that i enjoy home reading dancing music something you're such a wholesome girl i am you're so wholesome <laughs> <laughs> I'm a person who likes who likes to be home, but I also like to go outside. Okay. But I'm not, I'm not, I don't do the whole rowdy business. So. No, I, I get that. If somebody I, was I to say, I see you in the streets, I know you're lying. Because you're not in the streets. I'm not in the streets, but I will know you're lying. <laughs> no, I fully understand that. Yeah. Okay, so now let's run it back to the business, okay. right? Okay. So I kind of, I want you to share with us what inspired you to start this business. Is it a personal story related to your own, like your own life, or is it just a thing? Yeah, pocket money because you know how mm. the unemployment rate is in Botswana, or was it just something you just wanted to do? Like we really want to get to understand what inspired you to start this business and what. Yeah, okay. that's basically it. All right. I think um well no not for the pocket money. Yes, like I said, it's a lucrative business. Yeah, but it wasn't based off like just getting a lot of money. Like I said, I'm a creative and I'm somebody that loves makeup. Mm. As a makeup artist, I'm also very passionate about like skincare and setting of those things. So it started with that, and I think I started just like during the time yeah during lockdown. I was like, you know, when I started like seeing just like random YouTube videos, and then I saw like how to start your own cosmetic business. And Searching it, searching it, searching. I think at that time I did want to make money for myself. Yeah. But then I was like, I didn't know people actually did this. I didn't know this was this is how it's done. So I started learning about it, researching about it, and I'm like, I want to do this, but I don't want to do it now because like you know, quick pocket money. Yeah. Things like, yeah. It makes a lot of money, but I want to take it to mm-hmm. like greater mm-hmm. heights. I'm like, yeah. I wanted to make it a long term thing. I wanted to be on the level of Yabo, Fenty, or Huda Beauty. So yeah, it's something I'm very passionate about. So as much as it's draining to be an entrepreneur, as long as you know the real reason why you're doing it, which is something yeah. you're passionate about it. If you're passionate about this, then yeah, it's just it's it's not gonna if you're not if you're gonna be promoted then you can take it to the floor and throw in the towel. That's nice. So you've always cared about your own skincare and your like yeah. the way your makeup looks and what yeah. I wow. know. I think beauty in general is like Thing that I've always been so passionate about, and it's a it's a confidence booster. So I and I want the same for everybody else. Oh, that's so nice! You're saying the same thing that my last two guests um said Baby, as well. That's yeah. so sweet. Like they also want other people to feel confident. Yeah. To feel, you know. No, because we live in a world where every everything is being criticized. Like people just mm. like don't need to believe it. So. I mean, not to say that we should rely on makeup um, to boost our confidence, but like if there's something that can make you feel good about yourself, 100%. why not invest into that? Hundred percent. You see, guys, invest in women. Hundred percent. I love that so much. Okay, now moving on to my fifth question, I wanted to ask you what challenges you've experienced as a young female entrepreneur. Because I mean, maybe back in the day. Um, men have always been considered yeah. to be the ones um, in business, right? Running yeah, their own businesses, and then the women are either supported by the men, mm-hmm. or yeah. So, what are there any specific challenges you face related okay. to that, or maybe something else completely? Um, well, I don't think it's anything related to that because I think what I like about the business challenge, not to say that men are incapable of being involved in the cosmetics business, but mm-hmm. like when you when you know your stuff as a woman and you you have a great you have a greater advantage yeah. in a specific business because you know 
we we research on the things we know what we want for our skins and you know women take care of their skin not say men don't but like yeah men have it easier they wash their face with the same cloth that they wash their body with with their free skin we point. fight our for our lives to actually get our skin right so it like it goes into like you know researching and everything and you know we love to look good as women you know yeah so but I don't think I've necessarily had challenges in regards to that where like I'm competing yeah. with men or anything mm-hmm. like that or yeah not not that but like I'm not somebody that's disassigned I don't have a business degree the challenge now comes in where I have to deal with things that include both accounts and but like those kind of things are not you know I'm not a business person but I'm business minded I want to make several businesses like as I go forward but I don't have a business studies degree. I mean, I'm always learning. I think the most knowledge I have is marketing related. Um, but yeah, that's been that's been uh, what's called like one of my challenges. Like also, how do you manage the money you get? Mm. Because um, for my first for when I first tried it out, I sold out very quickly. I wasn't even expecting it. And it was kind of like a trial thing to see if this was something people are interested in, and they, it sold out very quickly. Now, trying to save that money and just keep it there for your business. That's so that, that is hard. That is actually hard. And it requires like some serious discipline when you want to um, start a business or when you start seeing that money coming. You do get excited, yeah, obviously. That's true. We get excited, but like we're all human, we, we learn from that. So it's that. And also having to have um, like a continuous capital to continue financing the the business because it's not like whereby you have a whole bunch of capital like thousands of hula and next thing you know you put it in there no you have to take the little bit you have and put it there and you have to somehow make it grow so it's hard when you're unemployed and you're trying to run a business because you know you want money to keep up yeah yeah. it goes hand in hand so you know if you have to learn how to manage your money you need to learn how to be disciplined in that sense and I think also you're gonna have to learn how to accept criticism from people. Yeah, yeah because your product could be great from to one person, but it's not gonna be great to the other mm-hmm. person, and you have to be okay with that. And you know, also customers need to be understanding that um, this person is not gonna like this that first time and whatnot. I mean, not everyone's gonna know that, but like when a business is very new, you know, have a bit of grace with the person who's starting the business and also you need to understand that it's not going to be the same for everybody mm-hmm. because we're all different, our skins are different, how we react to certain things that we put on our bodies are different, so you're not going to get the same, um, the same okay. reaction. Yeah, you're not going to get the same yeah. results as the next person, you're not going to like this because there's this specific ingredient that doesn't suit you well on your skin and then maybe there's this or that other yeah. person. So yeah, be open to criticism, be understanding and don't be an angry entrepreneur. Don't be don't be impatient. Eh, that's just this requires patience. I think I love that you're saying it in a way as if you're giving advice. Yeah. Because I like no, I, I know for sure that people know. They need I, yeah. to know. They people need to know. You need to be patient with yourself and I'm not patient with myself because well, <laughs> I I want things to happen so quickly and but I also need to learn what hey this is a learning curve I need to know how to do better this time I have to do I have to learn how to do how to not do this in like maybe the next part that yeah. I need to do so in the next thing I need to know you have to have grace with yourself that's like more important too. All right, and then I now want to ask, what do you do to stay sane? when you're faced with these ch- you know we just talked about challenges yeah. so yeah what do you do to stay sane to calm yourself down how do you take care of your health or your mental health Ooh. yes yeah yeah <laughs> i'm gonna just be candid and honest i really have not taken care of myself <laughs> i am not girl I'm so, can't say. I'm so sane. that's why i'm saying like that's why like I mention these things because it's also advice I'm giving myself also. Mm. But it's very hard to take your own advice when you're giving it to the next person. 
But um, to help with my mental health, I try not to compare myself or make it a competition thing with other people. Mm -hmm. Even if it's not in the same um, uh, business or category that I that they're in, you know, you still tend to um, what you call yeah, it, compare yourself yeah. with people. They're like, oh my god, this person just started that business like a year ago and look at them flourishing now. Mm -hmm. But you need to understand you're not the same. Um, God had a position put for them and they their process is going to be different than yours. Okay, so moving on. We're gonna spice things up a bit. Don't make me leave my chocolate in peace. It's okay. nothing too crazy. Okay, well, we wanna get into your personal life a little bit, girl. Just to get to know, are you single? Are you in a relationship? Are you married? <laughs> no, I'm single. I'm all the way single. I'm all the way single, guys. The baby food is cute. The day before was gay, but now I'm single. Okay, because the reason I ask is I want to know if you think that maybe you being single now, do you think it has any effect on your business? Yeah, no. do you think? Okay, no, I don't think it does. I'm somebody, I think I'm, I'd like to think I'm somebody that knows how to balance the two, mm -hmm. balance the two, sorry, personal life and my like you know, business life. So, no, I'm single. It I'm seems single. that most women right now are generally just focusing on improving themselves and working on themselves before they commit themselves to a relationship or something that's like that. true that's true but you know it's not okay as much as as much as like you know that's great and as we should mm -hmm. um it's also nice to have somebody that can contribute to your life rather than take away from mm -hmm. it so mm -hmm. like, if some if somebody's gonna come into your life waste your time take away all that you have built up for yourself all that you have you know mustered up all that you've um done to mm. heal yourself make yourself a better ver a better version of yourself that you were yesterday and years before all that effort that you put inside and then just take away from it for you to only now you gotta build yourself from block one block yeah one. i understand nobody needs that you know I rather understand. have somebody that contributes your life then take away from it and if you're not if you're not here for that then i'm so sorry i think you are not going to be my life um second last question just want to get into the people you have in your life mm -hmm. you know so does your family and do your friends support your, your business and i believe yeah. support is is it subjective yes so yeah, no, it is it, is it could be in whatever way you feel that they may be supporting if not yeah just want to get you understand um, you in regards to family they they have an idea or they know what i'm doing they know what my business is but no <laughs> <laughs> they don't really they okay they understand they support like that i'm a i'm a, I'm a makeup artist and everything like especially i would call it my dad like he wants to invest in like that side of me because he knows i'm, mm. I'm so invested into the whole mm. beauty cosmetics and just general taking care of yourself body wise and like physically um but they don't necessarily know the full extent of like the business i think they are they know like okay she deals with makeup she yeah. deals with cosmetics and yeah like it kind of ends there and they know where i'm trying to take it but like you know and friends oh god lord knows i have the most amazing friends like those are supportive and everything they they buy the glasses there's this one girl well not one girl but like they all but like they i make, make sure I, they make sure and i have this one that she will make sure she will make sure so made in her videos please just highlight your novel that is her go-to at this point you know i have such great supporters and you know it's nice to know that people are still thinking about my products and everything and say like dude i love your products one two three four one two three four so yeah i really have some really good supportive friends that are always constantly buying and are always like wanting to utilize my, my products so it it helps me believe in myself and see what i'm doing a great job in terms of my business yeah okay so we've kind of come to the end of the questions the last thing I'm just going to ask you to do is show us your product. Of course. Um, tell us where we can find you on the socials. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, and anything that we need to know regarding like your your business okay. prices, anything, honestly, okay, anything. Okay. Now, um, just go up, sis. <laughs> oh, okay, this is where I <laughs> feel so hectic, you. But um, okay. So these are the products. These are lip glosses. These sizes are ten milliliters because yeah. this is more product product and this is the eight milliliter this is the one the wand one people sold this out to be honest they wow. love girls love the ones more than the three shades which is understandable yeah um there are six shades that are included in like this whole product um also the business is called Molier Beauty. I like that's something I didn't mention. It's called Molier Beauty. Mm -hmm. The M O derived from my last name Kutu and the lure part is a French word for glow. So I just put that together. It, 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 exactly. So it works and yeah, this is, these go for eighty bucks. These are sold out unfortunately. These go for eighty bula. And yeah, it's like six shades. This is in the color rose. This is a curly mm -hmm. sheath, but more on the subtle side. And this is called African Sand. This is cashmere, and this is juicy. And the yes. other two that are there is um, ebony and bombshell. Those are also sold out. People really loved ebony, so that was the, and that was our darkest nude. So yeah, if you guys are to ever want to buy these other products here, obviously more products are to come. In total, the collection is supposed to have 12 um, mm -hmm. different shades, which mm -hmm. are still yet to come, including obviously more products. I don't want to give too much away. Of course, of course. But if you guys want to check out the page, we're on Instagram and on Facebook at Molier Beauty DW on Instagram and Molier Beauty and Co on on Facebook. So yeah, love that. Support and buy. Stock is still there, and if you wanna, you know. So help the girl go ahead. I'm not gonna shy away from that. One thing I do appreciate about like the products that I make is that um, it's organic. Mm -hmm. It's not it's not harmful to the lips. We have key ingredients that help with you know moisturizing your lips. So I would use vitamin E oil, grapeseed oil, jojoba oil. You know we want to be moisturized mm. and feeling good on your lips, and that it's long lasting and it's very pigmented too. Yeah, guys. <laughs> We've been shooting and shooting and this has, it's been cutting us off. So we need to end this video real quick, real fast. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to interact. It really helps um, boost the video and like, it allows it for, period, period. It allows it for the video to reach more people, right? Mm -hmm. And for more people to join the family and to learn as well. So yeah, let us comment a uh, lip emoji, the one that's no bite. <laughs> yeah, I'll have it on the screen there. That's her fave. Of course. Right? And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye. Bye.